Here is a Moto G stylus. I'm going to show you how to set this up step by step. Okay, so first thing when you're here, go ahead and choose your language here. I'm good with English in the US. I'm going to go ahead and tap on Start. Now here's it says you can go ahead and insert your uh, SIM card. You can go ahead and insert your SIM card here, or you can go ahead and do it after you set everything up. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to skip this, and then the next video. What I'll do is I'll make a uh, video on how to insert the SIM card and the link will be in the description below, okay? Anyway, so I skip that. So from here, Wi-Fi, let me go ahead and connect to my Wi-Fi here. Let's put in my password. After you put your password in, tap on connect. Obtaining IP address, it said connect it. Now checking for updates. You can copy apps and data. You can choose to transfer your apps, photos, contacts, Google account, and more. If you want to do that, go ahead and tap on next. Or for me, I'm going to do a fresh copy here. I'm going to go ahead and click on don't copy for myself. Go ahead and enter your uh, Google, which is basically your Gmail account. You can do it now or you can do it later. For me, I'm just going to do it later. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on skip. And tap skip there as well. Google services. Now these are all optional. This is up to you. Okay. For me, I'm fine with all of these toggled on. I'm going to tap on accept. Go ahead and make a pin password here. It's a four digits. After you put it in the first time, go ahead and tap on next. And it's going to ask you to re-enter your pin. Once you re-enter, tap on confirm. Unlock with a fingerprint, basically fingerprint password. You can skip this and you can make one later. You don't have to make one at all. For me, I'm going to go ahead and set this up right now. So I'll tap on setup. So the sensor is your power button here. Your fingerprint sensor is right there. Okay, so go ahead and just press your finger on there. And now we're going to press or just tap up, down, up, down. Not actually pressing the power button, okay? Just keep on going up, down. Keep on going until that circle fills up. Keep your finger, keep moving around. There's some different areas, almost there. All right, there we go. Touch to unlock, if you want to unlock it, you can have that toggled on. I like the, I like, the go, I'm gonna go ahead and leave mine on. Touch to unlock, that's fine. I'm gonna tap on next here. So fingerprint is added. You can go add, you can go ahead and add another fingerprint if you wish, or if you're done with this, you can go ahead and click on done. And you can always go back later on to add other fingerprints as well. And then from here, we're going to go ahead and tap on OK. Privacy and software updates and uh, smart updates here. You can toggle that on or off. I would recommend just go ahead and leave that on. They'll automatically um, download security updates and bug fixes uh, when uh, over Wi-Fi. Okay. So from here, I'm going to tap on accept and continue. Motorola, let's stay in touch. You can go ahead and subscribe for emails down here. Put your email address in if you wish. For me, I don't care for this, but it's a preference. And then I'm going to go and tap on next. Location access, uh, this is a preference here. For me, I'm okay with granting access. I'm going to go and tap on next. Allow carrier location to access this device. You can do all the time or only while using the app or you can deny it. Okay, I'm going to go all the time. And this is it's a tutorial on how to navigate. You can tap on Get Started. It's a little tutorial here. So to go home from the bottom, just go press up like this. Oops, let's click on Next here. And then you can go ahead and read through this. You can see recent menus, how to go back. And then give it a try. Uh, swipe to go home. Once you're done going through the tutorial, you can just swipe up from the bottom like this to go to the home screen. And there you go, we're up and running. So the next video, I'm gonna go ahead and insert the uh, SIM card. If you wanna see that, the link's gonna be below, all right? Anyway, good luck, guys.